Yoga to me is transformation. And not only are we always experiencing the transformation around us, but to really own and know and be intimate with our own power of transformation. So I do know that if you come to, to study, to practice, to play with me, the asana that, that we're going to use, the specific meditations, the, the mantras, all the movements, all of the tools, because there's so many, I couldn't even tell you what's going to happen until you show up because it's this fresh and raw experience of what's here right now and what's moving and what wants to be met. She said, Kat, your yoga students will come into the room convinced that they're broken. So on one level, it's so freeing. It's like, oh, you mean I don't really need to prepare so much? You don't need to prepare so much? You mean we just show up as we are? And it also takes a lot of trust and confidence just to be with what's here. That's how we get really intimate. I mean, yoga is being intimate with the divine, right? It's being intimate with God. And, and it's a very personal experience. Your experience, your expression is different from mine. Everyone's is, that's what's so cool. So you can't really put rules or even a guidebook to it. But the journey is just meeting it right here. When in fact, the truth is we're already whole. Namaste. So I think that's why I, I love this practice so much and why when I visualize myself, I'm gonna be 90 years old with a turban teaching yoga. And because it's basically the space that we hold for ourselves, for one another, for this beautiful, morphing, interdimensional, surprising, ever-changing experience of aliveness.